episode 7 of the Logical Fallacy series, we will be talking about the appeal to majority. So an appeal to majority, like its name suggests, is an attempt to appeal to the wide-held beliefs or um, opinions of that time in order to prove your point. Now, an example of this would be something along the lines of, you know, um, a majority of Americans are Christians, and so because of that, they can't all be wrong. Surely millions and millions of people can't all be wrong. But, you know, of course, we know that they can be wrong, and that in many cases they are wrong. Um, there is no reason why, if a whole lot of people believe something, that that doesn't lean credibility to the argument at all. Uh, that doesn't provide evidence that the argument is true or that the claim is true. Um, you could have millions of people believing in, um, you know, any any number of false things, and it wouldn't make it true. So you know, don't appeal to majority and. The same goes for atheists as well. You know, if you were to point out and say, you know, if if by some weird alternate reality we were living in a country where the majority of people were atheists, you can't say, you know, well, well, the majority of people are atheists, so, you know, Christianity is false. You know, that's just not right. So, you know, again, don't commit that fallacy either. Um, there's also kind of a subset of this fallacy called the appeal to popularity. It's basically the same thing. It's appealing to, uh, it's basically saying, you know, if something is popular, you know, it has to be true. Or if this idea is popular, then it has to be true. Um, you know, again, that's false as well. Um, so beware of those fallacies. That was just a dream. That was just a dream.